developments for anyone planning to hit the skies anytime soon. You're going to need to bring that mask with you for several months longer. TSA officially extended their masking requirements at airports across the country. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson joins us live from Nashville International Airport this morning. OK, Cole, the big question everyone wants to know, how much longer will this mandate be in effect? Hey, good morning. So originally the mandate was supposed to end in mid September, just about a month away from now, and now it has been pushed by the TSA to January 18th. And this comes as we know the Delta variant is continuing to spread across the state and across the country. When it comes to trouble in the sky with masks, we know there's been nearly 3900 reports of unruly passengers with most of cases related to mask wearing. That is since January and 120 of those ended with penalties. Back in June, the FAA proposed thousands in fines against four passengers for allegedly interfering with flight attendants. For some who work in the sky, they are in favor of the decision to extend the mandate. Association of Flight Attendants CWA President Sarah Nelson represents tens of thousands of flight attendants at 17 airlines. She said she supports the move. And to give you perspective on how many people are still taking to the skies, a TSA spokesperson tweeted out that on Monday they screened more nearly 2 million people at airport security checkpoints. We're reporting live at BNA. Cole Johnson, News Channel 5.